Hey YouTube, this is Daniel Vanover, and welcome back for another Technology Tip of the Week. This week we're going to look at Google Forms Publisher, which is an add-on for Google Forms that allows you to publish the content from a Google Forms submission into a document or spreadsheet. It's a lot like mail merging. So let me share my screen to you. Let's get started with Google Forms Publisher. To start out, I'm in Google Drive. I already have created a Google Form. In this case, it's a discipline referral form with multiple questions, student name, is a fill in the blank, student grade level, teacher name, date, time, the reason for referral, action taken by the teacher prior to the referral, and teacher comment sections, all available. I have also created a Google Docs template that Google Forms Publisher will use to create new documents from each submission. You can start out with a template and create a Google Form from that template, or you can start out with a Google Form and create your template to match the Google Form. It is totally up to you how you want to start out, but the end product has to be a template and a Google Form that coincide with one another. Now, as it stands, this is just a document really is not a template because there are no field items. I have student name here, but there's no way to tie student name to the question student in my Google Form. In order to do that and match them up using Form Publisher, I need to make student name a field that matches the question student in my Google Form. To do that, I simply type in two less than signs the question name that I would like to pair it up with, in this case, student, followed by two greater than signs. This will allow Form Publisher to know where to pull the data from my Google Form to fill it into my template. So I do that for each of these fields. Now you'll notice on my template that I also have immediate action and recommendations by the office, along with administrator comments and a place for the principal and assistant principal to sign this discipline referral form. This is simply because I can have form publisher email this new Google Doc to the principal or assistant principal so that they can print them out or fill them out in Google Docs and turn them into the ISS coordinator. The most important part is having the fields match up with the Google Forms questions. So my fields are matching up with my Google Forms questions. I can now move on to Form Publisher and click on Add-ons, Get Add-ons. And there are a lot of add-ons here available for us in Google Forms. The one we're looking for is called Form Publisher. So we can type in Form Publisher in the search, and Form Publisher shows up. We allow it to have access to my Google account. And now Form Publisher is ready to go. I'll click Add ons again, go down to Form Publisher, and click Get Started. And the Form Publisher Creation Wizard will pop up and walk you through setting up Form Publisher to publish out the submissions from your Google Form into a new document or spreadsheet. So it asks, what kind of files do you need to generate? We're going to use a document. You already have a Google Doc to use as a template. I can click Yes, and it will allow me to select my Google Doc. Or, if I haven't created that template yet, I click on No, Please create one, and Form Publisher will create a template for you. But for our case, since we already have a Google Doc template, we're going to click Yes. The Google Picker will pop up, and I go through and find my discipline referral form. Next step, it'll tell me the name of my template, and it will also say, we've found eight markers in your template that match question titles in your form. And it'll let you know what those markers are. You can make sure that you're matching up, if any of them do not match up, there will be an X beside it. it lets you know that the markers must match the question titles. Click Next. Do you already have a drive folder to put all the documents created into? 
If you would like for it to go into the exact same drive folder, click yes. If you would like for it to create a new folder for all your form publisher files, then click no. I'm going to let mine go into the same folder where my Google form and my template are located. So click yes. And we will find my folders here. Select the correct folder. It will let me know which folder I'm putting these documents in. And it'll ask, how would you like these documents to be named? Since this is a discipline referral form, I'm going to name these documents discipline referral form for, and I can use the same trick that I used in my template to fill in data for my name generation. For instance, discipline referral form for student with the greater than and less than sign surrounding it will fill in the student's name in the title. I can also say, please save a generated file URL in the spreadsheet containing your form responses so that in the spreadsheet, I have quick access to the URL for that particular document. Click Next. The final step is, how would you like to notify recipients of this form? I have an editor's box. I can also have commenters' rights or solely viewing privileges by typing in people's email addresses. I can also have Form Publisher create a PDF and send that PDF to particular recipients. Finally, I can keep a copy of that PDF in that drive folder. I can also allow the respondent to edit, view, or comment on this particular Google Doc as it's generated. And the last check refers to whether or not I would like to notify everyone through email that they have access to this new document that has been created. For PDF recipients, I'm going to type in my email address. And we'll go ahead and keep a copy of the PDF and drive. Click Next. Form Publisher is ready to go. It has been fully configured, and we can run it by clicking on Test, and it will allow me to fill out the form. So we'll fill out the form. And now, I'll check my email, and I should have an email from Form Publisher with a completed form. And there it is. The PDF is attached. I can quickly look at it as the principal or assistant principal would. All information has been filled in. Or I can simply use that email as a notifier and open up my Google Drive folder where the discipline referral form or John Doe, is there in an editable Google Doc format. And that was Google Forms Publisher. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. And don't forget to subscribe below so you get updated on new videos. And if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. Again, this is Daniel Vanover with your Technology Tip of the Week, Google Forms Publisher. Have a great week. We'll see you next time.